hello all hope you're doing good in this video i'm going to show you how to use the logic elements in the salesforce flow like this assignments decision loop and also i'm going to show you to how to use action to trigger an email notification when one of your use case is required there so i'm going to use one of the use case to trigger the notification let's see the use case for this video i'm going to take this as a use case i need to trigger the email notification only to the active contacts when the contract is activated i'm going to use uh, two objects here one is contract and another one is con Track contacts that is my custom object so uh, I am in the contract object so if you see here this is my contract record and the status is trapped and my uh, custom object is contract contacts it's having uh, two contacts so one is negotiator and one with the role point of contact so this contacts having the status so if you see here uh, the status is here and it is active so my use case is to trigger the notification when this contract is getting activated when it is moved to activated uh, it only need to trigger the notification to only the active contacts and not inactive contact so that's our use case let's go ahead and start the flow uh, let's choose record triggered flow and i choose free form and let us choose the object it's on contract and i don't have anything yeah we do have status Oops. and this is one new thing they have uh, implemented in uh, spring 21 let us see that in another video uh, let's do this and i'm going to get the records get contracts um, contract or and status activate I need the first record okay that's it here and i need to get another get records from contract contacts and here i'm going to match so, um, we do have a relationship between contract and contract contacts so i'm going to match the condition i'm saying contract contacts equals record id Uh, 
and here we sh we might have multiple records so i'm going to choose all records and we have to store the multiple records if it is one record then that is fine then if it is multiple records then we have to sh store it in any of the variables so i'm going to store it in variable i'm going to create a collection let's say recipients contract contacts and it should be available for input and we have to choose this multiple values that is a collection and yep done and that's it select contract contacts field to store in a variable so what field we need to store and that should be contract contact that's it that is done okay and from here we have to use the loop since we do have multiple uh, contacts right so we have to get all the contacts from it let's see we'll get all contacts and the collection variable is the one that we have created recently and first to last item that is it. Done. So after the this loop, we have to get the records again, but this time from the contact object. Since we have contact records in contract contacts, we have to get the contacts. Uh, that is from contact and ID equals how to use the loop. Where is that? Yep, here it is. So what we are doing is we are getting the value from the loop and we are fetching that ID from the contact object. So and here the first record and choose the field variables and together in the record variable that is fine and i'm gonna create a record sorry resource to store this data let's say contact That is done. So we created a contract record and so they are asking the fields to store. We need to check status. So 
we are just going to store the status field value of all the contacts in this element get okay, okay and i'm going to connect this for each item in the collection and from here we need to use the decision box here we are going to check if the contact is active or not so if it is active uh, so this is the contact record variable that we have stored in the status so we are just storing the status right in the previous get records and if it is active so if the contact record status is active then it this outcome will fire so what do we need to do when this uh, contact is active i'm going to use an action i'm going to trigger the email notification as per our use case i'm going to choose the type and i'm going to create choose the email alert So I have a built-in um, email alert. Uh, I have created a template and I have created alert. So I'm going to use the alert here, the contract activation template. Let's say activation notification. And the record ID is our contract record. So for this record, this is the base record that we are going to check and we are going to trigger the notification for that record. And that is it. Yes, active. And here we are going to use an assignment variable. Uh, I'm going to use this assignment variable to just uh, route the this uh, uh, loop to uh, check the next record. It is just assigning um, the loop to check for the next person. That's it. I'm going to create a, a, some dummy variable. Let's say it's test text. And so just I'm uh, creating this uh, dummy connection here. That's it. So if it is, uh, if the person, the contact is not active, then this decision will go here to this assignment. And from here, I'll write router to this loop again. And then, so if, it is active then the email alert will be triggered uh, again i'm going to connect to this assignment so it will check for the next person whether uh, the contact is active or not so that is it that is, that is pretty much so let us save and test it whether it is working or not
let's save it cool let's activate it that's fine in parallel i'm going to log into my gmail all right i am logged into my gmail here let us go ahead and create a new contract it's in draft status i'm choosing bank of america contract start date is today months now decided and I'm going to add contract contacts I'm as a negotiator and the other one something so I uh, configured both for uh, the same email for both of these contacts let's see we don't have any email over here and okay let us activate the contract cool activated let us go to our email and see we got two new, new notifications so it says the account number and I just added the link here just to navigate to the record cool let us check one more scenario Let's add another contract. And this time I'm going to make one of the contact as inactive. just to make sure we are just getting we are covering all our test cases sorry about that and I'm going to make this contact as inactive cool let's see how it works here I'm going to activate it's done let's go to the email the only one email gone so that's the thing uh just we are getting to get records one from contract object and another one from contract contacts and then we are using loop in this loop we are just getting uh, all the records from the contract contacts and then we are getting uh, we are comparing the contact object and from, from uh, the records from the contract contacts and then we are in in this decision we are checking the status of the contact and if it is active we are triggering the notification and if it is not we are making this assignment to check to the next record to go over the slow process so that's all let me know if you have any questions I'll, I'll try to answer as much as i can 
and thank you.